We have three. The first source is our first-hand experience. Our families held hundreds of funerals and shivas this week. There isn't one person in Israel who doesn't know someone murdered or kidnapped. Our siblings, friends, parents, and children are among the hostages. We heard first-hand testimonies from those who survived the infernos. They suffered and witnessed inhuman, sadistic war crimes. The second source is the entire world media, which received unprecedented access and reported on the atrocities live simultaneously. Are they all manufacturing reality? But if you'd still like to cross-reference, here's a third source. Hamas. These barbarians are proud of what they did. Their social media boasted the atrocities. They had their own reporter broadcasting live from the slaughter scene. Many had body cameras. They took selfies. For the sake of international damage control, Hamas leadership will try to deny scrub their feeds, claim that war crimes were performed by militant civilians acting on their own accord. But documents found on terrorists' bodies prove Hamas targeted civilians and ordered terrorists to kill as many as possible and capture hostages. So if you don't believe the Israeli mother whose three-year-old is held hostage in Gaza, maybe you'll believe the monsters who took her. <laughs>